This is James Hodder for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. With me, I've got the new super flyweight British champion, Cal Yafai. Congratulations, Cal. Thanks a lot, James, man. How are you feeling right now? I feel good, man. My hands are, my hands are sore and my, my feet are a bit sore, but it's part of heart, so I feel, feel good. Put, yeah. I think I put, um, put a dominant performance in. Um, one every round. Jason Jason Cunningham was a, was a tough kid. He took, a, took some big shots and... Um, yeah, he done well to, to, to sustain that, but yeah. Do you think you sent out a message to the rest of the super flyweights who will be watching this interested? I will see. If any of them want to want to get in the ring with me, we'll see. But um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've been tipped to win this bridge title for a long time. How does it feel to finally get your hands on that long title? I feel it's good to get it, man. Um, I've been wanting to, to win it for a long, long time, but it's just one of them things. Um, but now I finally got it. I got the opportunity to uh, to fight and took it with both hands. What did it feel like fighting in front of a huge atmosphere in your home city to win a Lonsdale? Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, you know, the the crowd really made some noise tonight, and um, yeah, the Birmingham fans come out in full and supported me, and I really, I really, really appreciate that. Mm, cracking fight to watch. Was there any point in there that you thought Jason Cunningham was gonna give his corner, pull him out, or he was gonna? Yeah, um, fold? I thought. Uh, there's a couple of rounds in there where he's taking a bit of stick and I thought, you know what, if I can't get him out of here myself, he's corner going to pull him out. But um, no, nah, never. He said to me afterwards, you know, um, I didn't want to get stopped, so he's a tough kid. Mm -hmm. so he really took some, really took some, um, some big shots and he hurt my hands, so hurt my hands on his hard head, but yeah, it's part, part of the game. Just coming to that, how, how is your hands holding it's up? It's just sore, it's just a bit swollen up, you know, knuckles are swoll swollen, so especially this one. But he, you know, landed a lot of left hands, and um, but yeah, got the win. Um, you know, I think I dominated all the way through. So on to on to the next one. Is this the start of big things to come for Cali Fire? Of course. This is just the beginning. Just pick something on your eye. No, it's just a little cut. Just pick You're right. You want to stop? No, no, no. It's cool. You sure. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Got a needle or thread on me, jumping <laughs> I give, I'll give that away in the last round. I, just, I don't know, you know, I dropped my hands in the last round and felt really comfortable in there and give away a silly jab and just, yeah. just, just cut my arm. You, you looked as if you was really enjoying it in there tonight. I was. Um, there's a stage where m my feet started burning and I thought to myself, you know what, just just, just stay in range and just, just keep my head moving and uh, make it miss and make it pay. And I think I did that. Um, my, jab, my jab worked well tonight. And, um, especially against the tall south pool. but yeah, just just um, worked on a, just I threw a lot of punches and I worked on a lot of things that I've been working on in the gym. So um, yeah, made a real statement today in the way you beat Jason Cunningham. Have you now got an eye on defending this British title to have it outright, or is it a case of seeing what's available and you may even vacate? It's, you know what, I leave that down to Eddie and Barry and my trainers. But um, it's, the problem is, you know. The thing is, I've got to take my hat off to Jason Cunningham because no one else was willing to step up to the plate and fight me for the British title. So he was willing to come, not only fight me, but to fight me in my backyard. I've got to take my hat off to him. Mm -hmm. Do you have massive respect for people like that? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. You know, obviously, I said before, you know, um, people, people said that at the same time. I was a bit disrespectful to him. But it's part of the game. Um, I'm that's how you get yourself up for it. That's what you I mean. yourself up, I'm, you? a, I'm a confident fighter. Mm. Um, if I don't believe in myself, who else is going to believe in me? So um, yeah, I believe in myself a lot, and um, it's it's not it's not me being cocky. I'm just confident in my ability, and and that's what that's what I go out there and try and do. Well, if you wasn't confident in your ability, you wouldn't be getting in the ring exactly to knock lumps out of another man who's going to knock lumps out of you. So exactly, that's what that's what, the other, that's what the other guy in the corner is trying to do. No one else can can be confident for me. Once that bow goes, I'm in there on my own. Oh, I see what you're saying, man. Any aspirations now to? fight maybe on some big cards have you ever thought about maybe going over to the states is that something you thought about you know what i'd love to do that but i just leave that down to um down to eddie and you know whenever whenever they're ready mm -hmm. see what see what's available for me see what fights are available for me and do you anticipate being out again before christmas or now will you have a break and wind down a little bit what how does that work I'll probably have a week off but um and then we'll see what's see what's there we'll sit down with eddie and then um see what's what see what dates are available on keep active that's what I want to do just keep active what are your goals for this season you've captured this British now what 
in your mind? What are you thinking? Um, if I could get another, if I could get a defence in, that'd be great. But um, if I can't, then um, obviously we just work our way up to world to world level. Um, there's no European title, so gotta see what fights are available out there. Um, I watched the, I watched the WBA title fight last night on the cleverly undercard. Um, I wouldn't mind that one. So we'll just see, we'll just see what I just leave that in, in my trainer's hands and then my promoter's hands. Who do you think the, the top super flyweights are in the world at the moment? In your opinion, top super flyweights. Well, you got WBC champion from Mexico. Um, you got Tete who knocked out Paul Butler. Yeah. Um, Solani Tete, yeah. Yeah. Forgot well, about him for a minute. You don't know what he's doing with weights and stuff. He's rumoured to be going up a weight, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Uh, there's McJo Arroyo, the IBF champion from Puerto Rico, who I've seen quite a bit of in the amateur days. Um, and then there's Kohei Kona, the WBA champion. Oh, and obviously the Japanese kid, the WBO champion. So um, obviously we just, we look at, we, I'm looking at all of them now, and obviously I'm studying them all. 12 months from now, would you be confident in taking those fights? I'm not going to ask yeah. you whether you take them now because you just won a British title and you've got to get to that level. But yeah, yeah, of course. 12 months from now, would you be up for taking them sort of 100%, fights? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm not ready in 12 months, I'll never be ready. Mm. Um, hope, hopefully we can get them kind of fights before then. But 12 months, that's realistic, obviously, and hopefully I'll put me there. Listen, I think you can the way you can. Credit to you and Jason Cundin for it was a terrific fight. Well done on capturing this British belt. I know it's been a target of yours for some time, so yeah. congratulations, Cal. Thanks, Thanks for talking to IFL TV, It was mate. a pleasure, James.